So now I'm going to show you how to go about it uh, using the brushes instead of using alphas. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be working on a layer just in case we mess anything up. So we created that, it's set to record. Okay, so now also I'm going to mask the eyes here, the eyeball. Go to masking, mask all, get everything back do the same with these mask everything get everything back okay so first let's look at the pictures probably going to be looking at mainly at this picture and so uh, first thing I like to always do is uh, I mainly use the move tool at first so that I can move things around So basically at this point it's going to be somewhat arbitrary because it's going to be mainly on getting it to a place where you actually like how it's looking rather than being an absolute way of doing it. I also like to work at a lower subdivision level than the highest just so that I can smooth things better Of course it doesn't have to be exactly like the picture. And remember I'm using symmetry here. So whatever I do to one side happens to the other. Now to do that press X.
So now let's uh, use a different brush. Say we can use the, you can of course always try the standard brush if you're happy with that one. But I like to use uh, maybe the dam standard or the slash 3. Let's try the dam standard first and see what it does. I'm actually going to change the size. The intensity might be a little too high, so I'm going to reduce that. Let's try the slash 3. This one's really, really high intensity, so I'm going to let that down. Slash 3 is really similar to the standard, I mean, the damn standard that we just used. So I actually like to use this brush for some of the detail instead of using alpha. So you can see we can go do things like this. I mean you can get almost the same results by using an alpha but uh, slightly more random than just using an alpha that is more recognizable and you see that we get that skin Now my, uh, you can say, lines here are not exactly perfect and that's basically because, as I said, we could have gone an extra subdivision level to get even more detail here. And the more divisions you have, the better these kinds of lines will actually look.
you can have more uh, really deep strokes here if you remember we're using a layer and you can always adjust the opacity of that layer let me show you another brush that you can use for some extra detail is that one is the blob blob here there's the size maybe the lower the intensity here a little you can kind of see what it does maybe you can see it better here At this point, what I'm seeing is that I probably should have subdivided an extra level so that I get better detail than what I'm actually getting here. So let me just save it for now. I'm going to save a different version here. I'm actually going to try and subdivide one more level. Actually, if you have a, a layer that's recording, you cannot subdivide one more level. So let me disable that. Let's go to Dubai. So now we're at 13 million instead of uh, the 3 million that we were at before. So we should get more detail now. Sometimes the layers uh, do not want to record for some reason. And that might be because I subdivided and I was working at a lower subdivision level before. So I'm just going to create a new one and work on that one. So we can actually continue with the sculpting, and as you can see, uh, probably now we're probably going to get more detail than before, because we have more subdivisions. So we can use the blob uh, brush there, and it means bring some of the areas, give it a little more variation, bumpiness here and there. If we go back to that slash three, so we can actually continue to get that detail. So this is how far we've gotten just by using those brushes and uh, it's a fairly decent uh, result here. Of course you can take your time and maybe if you want it to look uh, a little better. But this is just skin for a dinosaur so uh, I don't think it should be a problem just to continue this way.
So I'm going to stop here for now. We're just going to continue next time. I mean, by this time, by this point, I already showed you how to actually uh, texture it. But this is basically what we're going to do for the almost the whole body. And of course, you can create uh, slightly different strokes. You can simulate different uh, skin patterns for the dinosaur. So I'm going to stop here for now.